Hello, welcome back to Technology for Fun Home STEM Projects. This is what we're going to make, it's a spectroscope to split light into its component colours. You'll need a juice carton, an old CD, make sure it's a CD not a DVD, insulating tape, a biro, ruler, protractor or set square and pointed nail scissors. Turn the juice carton so the spout is on top. Measure 4 centimetres from the bottom of the juice carton and draw a line across. Draw a line at 45 degrees along either side of the carton starting at the end of the line you drew. Mark across 8 centimetres along each of the 45 degree lines. Draw two more lines, 8.5cm and 9cm from the bottom of the juice carton. Make a short line to join these two lines 3mm in from each side. Cut out the slot you just drew. This is to let the light in. If you're asking children to do this, then you can pierce the carton for them so they don't hurt themselves. Cut along the first line you drew, then along the 45 degree lines until you get to the cross. Increase the width of this slot until you can just slide the CD in. It needs to be a tight fit, although if it isn't you can always tape it in place. Make sure the shiny side of the CD is facing upwards. If the carton has any transparent panels like this one has, then use the insulating tape to cover them up. If the slot to let the light in has rough edges, you can put insulating tape along to straighten them up. If the CD is loose, then tape it in position. Look through the spout and adjust the position of the spectroscope so the light comes in through the top slot then bounces off the CD and into your eye. Don't use it to look at the sun as you could damage your eyes. The CD has lots of tiny little grooves which act as a diffraction grating. They're covered in AS level physics and take me two hours to explain, but very briefly, the light which passes through the grating bounces off the mirrored film and then back through the grating appears to be bent and the different colours are bent by different amounts. As white light is made up of all the colours of the rainbow, the white light passing into the spectroscope appears to be split into a rainbow. You can look at different light bulbs through the spectroscope to see the effects. The light from this LED bulb gives a continuous spectrum. This compact fluorescent light gives distinct bands of colour. The inside of the bulb is coated with phosphors which emit light of particular colours. These are some of the models from my Design and Make project books. You can check out my website for more details.